This episode of BFC TV is brought to you by Polaroid. In 1972, Polaroid founder Edwin Land debuted the Polaroid SX70 to the world, a watershed moment in photography, a camera and film with the interconnected philosophy of true one-step photography. You press a button and you have the picture. The SX70 film itself was magical to be sure, but at 150 ASA, it was not particularly flexible for use in lower light without flash. So 10 years later, Polaroid debuted the 600 system, same film shape with new cameras and a new chemical formula boosting the film speed to 600 ASA. An analyst from Morgan Stanley noted at the time, 70% of all Polaroid pictures were being taken inside today, giving Polaroid the practical motivation to push out this entirely new film emulsion. Today, both SX70 and 600 film still exist and have different practical applications and functionality. And today on BFC TV, we're gonna break down those differences, so let's do it. Welcome to BFC TV, my name is Ben, and I somehow exist in the stunning reality where the modern Polaroid company has four distinct film emulsions. I feel like something of a lucky duck. And after some research, I discovered the origin of the term lucky duck is not known. But like SX70 and 600 film, it subsists today. So what are the four emulsions Polaroid currently produces? They have 600 color, 600 black and white, SX70 color, and SX70 black and white. Films such as iType, Go, and 8x10 all use the 600 emulsion, so for the purposes of this video, we will simply be calling all of that 600 film. As noted in our little history lesson, 600 film is a faster film than SX70. This means that the chemical emulsion has a higher sensitivity to light, allowing it to be used in lower light conditions and gives it a lot more flexibility with handheld use. Since the automatic shutter speeds of the cameras can be faster in a broader range of lighting conditions. So that's a definite advantage of 600. However, increasing the speed of a film emulsion has other implications. Things like contrast, color, and grain are all affected, uh, whether we're talking about Polaroid 600 or Portra 800. So when we compare 600 to SX70, we'll find SX70 film has much stronger saturation, finer grain, less exposure latitude, and a stronger contrast as a result. Whether or not you consider those advantages are up to you. The lower contrast look of 600 can be a huge plus with regards to flexibility and characteristics like grain are fairly inconsequential when it comes to instant film where it's just really not that visible. SX70 film could be described as much punchier than 600. Colors are hyper vivid, the contrast is very noticeable and with that contrast comes less visible information in shadows and highlights. Underexposed and overexposed SX70 film has a greater loss of detail and more noticeable color shifts, whereas overexposed 600 film still has quite a bit going on. So that's kind of the broad strokes data on this stuff, but on a practical level, you're probably asking which one is the right film for you? Well, if you mostly shoot in broad daylight or with flash in low light, SX70 can be hard to beat. Yes, it's a bit more temperamental, but I think a properly exposed SX70 shot is the closest facsimile of the original Polaroid chemistry. For me personally, I look at these images and am reminded of Polaroid's effervescence, how vivid and real it can be, with surprisingly sharp detail and boldness that just like jumps off the print. That being said, if you aren't a heavy user of flash and prefer your images to have a less heavy-handed, more ethereal quality, 600 is the film for you. Under the right conditions with broad light or direct flash, 600 certainly does have plenty of saturation to go around. And although it's not indistinguishable from the warmth and depth of some SX70 colors, it's not far off. 600 is so amicable to varied lighting conditions that you can use it after sunset, at dawn, and in dimmer conditions that the SX70 simply can't pull off without a tripod. So for a time, the predominant reason someone would use SX70 film was simply to use the SX70 camera. But with the popularity of converting these cameras to 600 speed compatibility, it doesn't exactly factor into the film selection process anymore. However, if you do convert an SX70 to be able to shoot 600 film, you'll no longer be able to use SX70 film in it. So there's still a strict choice to be made at the outset. 
There is a native 600 shooting folding camera called the SLR 680, touted as the creme de la creme of Polaroid's 50 year integral film camera lineup. However, it's much more rare and thus more expensive than the base SX70s. Beyond the SX70 camera, 600 film has the unique distinction of compatibility with way more cameras. Polaroid did produce several box type cameras for the SX70, like the button or the one steps, but Following 600's debut in the early 80s, virtually every square format camera they released was intended for 600 film. This means there are millions of 600 compatible cameras out there, including Polaroid's newest release, which takes the 600 speed i-type film, or just regular 600 film if you're in a pinch and that's all you got. Um, if you found your parents' old box type camera or grabbed something on the cheap, it's very likely that you're dealing with a 600 compatible camera. So SX-70 definitely has a bit more of a niche following. If Polaroid is the artist's choice for instant film, SX-70 is like the artist's choice's choice, your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. In a perfect world, you can give yourself both options. Have two camera bodies and bring them out whenever the occasion calls for it. Also in a perfect world, Denny's Grand Slams are fed to you in bed every morning by a personal Denny chef. But that's not everyone's reality and there comes a point where you just need to accept that. <laughs> I'm still on the journey to acceptance. Alas, if you're trying to decide what your go-to stock would be for color Polaroid film, hopefully this little breakdown can lend out a helping hand. If you'd like a direct side-by-side -side test of the black and white emulsions, you know what to do, drop a comment. Make it a viewer's choice video. We wanna hear your takes on these films below, which is your favorite, why, and whether or not you have had a personal Denny's chef feeding you Denny's Grand Slams every morning in bed. Thank you for watching BFC TV. Keep it locked for all things analog and of course, deuces.